This video is for entertainment purpose only. If someone gets offended by this, hello, what can I do? Indian weapons that shock the entire world. India is one of the most rapidly growing militaries in the world. They have evolved from a regional force with tactical capabilities to a growing strategic force with global reach. Here are the 10 weapons possessed by the Indian Army, Navy and Air Force that are among the best in the world. Number 10. Pinaka MBLRS. The Pinaka MBLRS, Multiple Barrel Rocket Launch System, is produced in India by Defence Research and Development Organisation DO, for the Indian Army combat proven in the cold and high altitude regions during the Kargil conflict in 1999. Pinaka can fire up to 12 missiles, rockets in 44 seconds with a reload time as short as 4 minutes. Number 9. P90S Bhishma Bishma is the Indian hey, name for the Russian Isn't that a name for the Mahabharata? The tanks are fitted oh. with the most advanced jamming systems. Oh, warning receivers, day night sighting system, and 125mm 2A46M smoothbore gun with thermal capabilities. A Bishma tank, manned by a crew of three, weighs 48,000 kilos and can cross water obstacles as deep as 5 meter and carry 1,600 liters of fuel under its virtually impenetrable armor. Number 8. INS Vekramaditya. By far the biggest and the most expensive aircraft carrier in the Indian Navy, this 40,000 ton sea monster can carry up to 24 MiG 29K fighters and 6 ASW or AEW helicopters. It was bought from Russia on January 2004 at price of $2.35 billion, and on the 14th of June 2014, Prime Minister Narendra Modi formally inducted INS Vekramaditya into the Indian Navy. Nog missile and Namika. Nog missile carrier developed at a cost of three million rupees. Nag is a fire and forget anti-tank missile developed in India. Fire and forget, PRPO, dude. Often written as world's only that is a straight-up military term. We don't care what you kill. Fire and forget. Just shoot it, dude. Who cares? At ranges four to five kilometers at a flight speed of two hundred and. What's India doing with fire and forget? Kings of the East. Namiku is the Nag missile carrier, which is capable of carrying twelve missiles with eight of them in ready-to-fire mode. Number 6. Falcon AWACS. AWACS stands for Airborne Early Warning and Control System used to protect aircraft, ships and vehicles at long ranges. The AWACS act as control centers guiding fighter doing interceptors this right now. This and tactical air force in battle area and can detect targets up to 400 kilometers <laughs> away. They are fitted with aerial yeah. refueling systems and electronic warfare equipment as well. Number 5. Prithvia Defense or Advanced Air Defense or Ballistic Missile Defense System. It is a double-tiered system consisting of two land and sea-based interceptor missiles, namely the Prithvia Defense Missile for High Altitude Interception and the Advanced Air Defense Missile for Lower Altitude Interception. The two-tiered shield should be able to intercept any incoming missile launched from 5,000 kilometers away. The system also includes an overlapping network of early warning and tracking radars, as well as command and control posts with the test of the pad missile. India became the fourth country to have successfully developed an anti-ballistic missile system after United States, Russia, and Israel. Kings of the East. Number 4. INS Chak, nuclear-powered submarine. Christened as INS Chakra, the real name of the submarine is Nurka, Russian-made. Chakra has 36 torpedoes and club anti-ship missiles, possesses almost zero noise levels, and can accommodate 80 personnel. India invested over $900 million in the development of Chakra in return of which Russia leased it to Indian Navy for 10 years. US, France, and China are the only other nations with nuclear-powered submarine. 
number three. INS Vishakhapetnam, destroyer, hey. on 20th of April Bizek. 2017, the Indian Navy launched its latest and by far the most powerful and advanced stealth destroyer ship called the INS Vishakhapetnam. Once christened as an Indian naval ship in July 2018, INS Vishakhapetnam will be the most advanced Indian destroyer warship to sail the battle waters. The 163 meter long and 7,300 tons heavy devourer will have 8 supersonic Brahmos anti-ship missiles, 32 Barak 8 long-range surface-to-air missiles, multi-function surveillance, threat alert radar system and a twin tube torpedo and rocket launchers. Number 2 Sukhoi Su-30 MKI The Sukhoi Su-30 MKI is a super-maneuverable twin-jet air superiority fighter developed by India's Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, HAL, mm. developed from the Su-30 MK. Here I stands for India after it was modified to fit India war needs by French, Israeli and Indian avionics in collaboration with a name to create the ultimate Su-30 variant for India. It can load up to 8 tons of weapons and soon it will be getting fitted with Brahmos and Nave cruise missiles. Number 1. Brahmos Missile Compared to other missiles of the same category, Brahmos has 3 times more velocity, 3 times more flight range, 4 times more seeker range and 9 times more... It's co-protector, that's what I carry the on me. production rate is said to be 100 missiles per year. Also, the missile guarantees pinpoint accuracy with hypersonic speed throughout the flight. The whole Brahmos project is expected to cost 13 billion dollars. Hope you like our video. Please give I did. thumbs up. Share I did like the video. Our channel for more videos. Whoa, how about that, dude? That was awesome, huh? India's got it going on. Kings of the East, I saw some fool trying to battle me in the comments saying, Hey, dude, read your Bible and go take a nap because you got it wrong. They're not Kings of the East. No, fool, you are wrong. They are the Kings of the East, and that is proof right there. They're a democracy. They're going to have the strongest army in the world, the strongest economy. And they will be taken over soon. And just remember your boy, the professor. I saw it here first. Thank you for watching our videos. Will you please subscribe to our channel? And will you please give this video a thumbs up? Thank you.